Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll show you step-by-step -step process of downloading down Skelet CMIP6 climate data from uh, next GDB CMIP6 portal. If you are interested in future climate projection, this video is for you. Let's get started. First, open your browser and type next GDB. Next. CMIP6 press enter select this one here in the main page you will find the data storage link this will take you to the directory where all the downscaled CMIP6 products are stored select this one this directory contains all the downscaled climate data set select next gdb cmip6 this directory contain all the downscaled cmip6 data before downloading those data i recommend reviewing scientific papers related to your region this helps you identify which climate model best fit your location different models can have a different level of accuracy depending on the geography and climate pattern for this tutorial, let's select any model to show you how to download the data. Click here. In this page, we have two main sections. Historical data, which is important for bias correction and future data. We have four different climate scenarios based on shared socioeconomic pathway SSP. The most commonly used scenarios are SSP. 245 and SSP 585 high emission scenarios and those scenarios are used to project how climate condition may change based on different greenhouse gases emission levels let's select one of those scenarios we'll start with SSP 245 in this directory there is only one simulation run select this one now we have different climate variable available for download the first one hurs is the near surface relative humidity and the huss near surface specific humidity dimensionless ratio and precipitation and rids is the surface downwelling long wave radiation RSDS, surface downwelling shortwave radiation, and SFC wind, daily mean near surface wind speed, and TES is the daily near surface air temperature, and Tmax, uh, temperature maximum and minimum temperature. If you need more information and details on what each variable represents, you can check the documentation attached in the home page. Uh, let's start with precipitation. Here each file represents one year of daily climate data. It started from 2015 to 2100. This makes it uh, easy to download a specific year as needed for your analysis. Each file here represents one year of the daily climate data started from 2015 and end up with 2100. Go to next, next, next. Here the end of data is 2100. And to download this data, you can use any method you prefer, but I recommend you to use download them all. And download them all is a browser extension that makes downloading easy to download this data you can simply click on each year you want to download and it's uh, directly get downloaded yes for example uh, i want to download 2016 precipitation is downloaded if i want to download uh, for 2017 it will download but this method will take time you can use any method you prefer 
but I recommend you to use download them all. It is an extension work with uh, Chrome. And to do this one, let's close any uh, extra tab. Because download them all, when you run, it will uh, download any tabs over here. And we have data start from 2015 to 2039. And we can go next, next, next up to 2100. So we can increase uh, the number of the data will appear in the main page over here. Select 100 or 10, 25, select 100. So all data will come up here. So let's use our extension. Extension download them all and download all tabs. Okay, active all the data I want. Yeah, this far. And then you specify the file you want, all file, software, Excel, and here download all file and uncheck image and videos because we are not interested here. Okay, here type the directory tutorial. I'll leave it like that. Check this one. And say download. Okay, the data will start download one by one and it will take time. And in the same way, we can uh, download for for the SSP 585 select this one and precipitation yeah the data over here and it's the same way to download uh, T max or T minimum yeah T max T minimum is now you know how to download down scaled CMIP6 data from next GDB CMIP6 borrow. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit notification for more tutorial. If you have any question, drop them in the comments below. See you next video.